Hello out there from ASCRS 2023 in San Diego, California. Right now, we're taking a look at Rayner's Ray1 EMV Enhanced Monofocal IOL, designed alongside the legendary Dr. Graham Barrett. Here to chat about this IOL and their research with the lens are Drs. Carolini Rocha and Michael Alterman. Uh, my name is Carolini Rocha. I'm the Director of Cornea and Refractive Surgery at Storm Eye Medical University of South Carolina in Charleston. My name is Michael Alterman. I'm a comprehensive ophthalmologist with Bethlehem Eye Associates based out of Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. I was very excited to start using the Ray-1 EMV just based off of reading about the technology and how it can enhance that mini mono vision to give a wide range of vision without splitting light, without a diffractive lens. Ray-1 EMV is a really great option, especially for patients that are concerned about night vision symptoms, dysphotopsias. You can offer not only distance vision correction, but a slightly extended range of vision. So what makes this lens so good for monovision is the enhancement of the natural spherical aberration of an eye. When you're young, it's about 0.3 microns total spherical aberration. That's what allows you to have a nice range of vision. When you start to age, you lose some of that, not because of your cornea, but because of your natural lens. A lot of other Iowa companies focus on subtracting that spherical aberration to give you a more neutral overall spherical aberration system of the eye, which gives you excellent sharp distance vision, but little to no range of vision. Most people want range of vision. They don't need to see 2010 for distance or 2015 for distance to be able to provide that enhanced range of vision to, in a mini monovision setting without losing depth perception or focus was very important to me. So we know it's a monofocal lens based on positive spheric aberration. In our study, we evaluated in vivo wavefront analysis. And what we found for 4.5 millimeter pupil size, that final spheric aberration on average was 0.12. So when we know from a lot of studies that this, it's a very small amount, it's the perfect amount that you can extend the range of vision without compromising the distance vision. So with patient outcomes, what we're expecting is that I'm able to get a range of vision where you're going to be excellent distance vision 2020 and very acceptable near vision, maybe not J1 plus, but J3 or better, equivalent to any EDOF on the market. And I'm seeing that in 95 plus percent of my patients where they're achieving 2020 distance vision and J3 or better for near with this combination in mini mono vision. We presented here at ASCRS our clinical data. We enrolled 40 eyes. Um, this is a prospective observational study. We target plano or maybe the first to minus for these patients. But what was impressive that the distance corrected intermediate vision was J3 or better in 87% of eyes. And the distance corrected near vision was J3 or better in 77% of eyes. So this was really impressive. No dysphotopsias, um, the, the lenses, uh, no diffractive optics, no rings, very well tolerated um, for, for example, night driving or um, night activities. I do not see any dysphotopsias in patients. I have probed all my patients. If they see any glare or halos or any sort of negative dysphotopsias, and I have not received any complaints to date with these lenses. So most refractive surgeons have EDOFs available to them and use them. They say, you know, why are you using an EDOF when this lens in the right setup can produce the same or better result. It's not gonna replace a trifocal or true multifocal lens. And for some patients, you're gonna to wanna to continue to use those lenses and put those lenses in as they are excellent. However, in the right setting, it really can replace a lot of limitations from existing EDOFs. And without that price point also of EDOFs, you're able to provide the same quality of vision without that high price tag cost of the EDOF to the patients. 
Well, it's very important to have that range of vision. It improves the quality of life so that they don't have to constantly reach for eyeglasses for every little thing. Uh, for active lifestyle people that like to play sports, tennis, pickleball, golf, you, know, you can see the ball on the tee to hit it and then follow it off in the distance. We know, you know, our lives with tablets and cell phones or we, when, when you're driving, right? We want to be able to see distance and we want to be able to see your dashboard. I think for all our daily activities, the intermediate vision is extremely important these days.